Hi, I'm Andy. This is a render of my 1910 B-Type London bus, a 3D drawing I created during the lockdown years. I've always been pleased with how it turned out, and some of you may even recognise it from the short animation I made a while back. But as nice as it looks, it still isn't tangible. You can't pick it up, you can't feel its weight. In this new series, I'm doing something a bit different. I'm going to bring this bus to life by 3D printing a 1 to 10 scale model, piece by piece. I'm learning as I go, and I'd love for you to follow along as I take this digital design and turn it into something real. You could say this story really began when I was about 10 years old. I was given an Airfix model kit for my birthday, and I absolutely loved it. It sparked that childhood dream many of us have. The idea that one day, somehow, I might build a full-size version of it. Years later, I watched James May describe that he had exactly the same feeling with an Airfix Spitfire. In his program, he actually goes on to build a full-size replica with the help of a dedicated team and a class of modern-day school children. So the question is, can I turn my Airfix B-Type London bus into something real? A full-size model is probably pushing things a bit, and I'm certain my wife wouldn't want it parked in the living room. So instead, I'm going to attempt a one-tenth scale version built completely from scratch. This is my SketchUp drawing. As with all my projects, it is drawn full-size, one-to-one, -one, but I think can rescale everything to one-to-ten, and without too much adjustment, use the various components and export them to the 3D printer. I will break it down into manageable project sections such as the rolling chassis, the bodywork and the seating and accessories. And this is where I'm going to start, the rolling chassis. So let's get started on this journey. Big day! It's arrived, my Bamboo P 2S 3D printer and a box of various colour filaments. And at least for the time being, this is where it is going to live. I didn't want to do one of those unboxing videos, but suffice to say, setup was really easy, especially considering that I have never even seen a 3D printer up close. Although I think I will need to get a stand for it. So I have sent my first component from my SketchUp drawing to the printer in a format that it seems happy with and away it goes. It certainly seems to be okay. Fingers crossed that I have got this first piece pretty much correct. Well, I'm quite pleased with this first attempt. Not perfect, but I think the detail is really quite good. This middle section of the chassis has come out well, too. Having assembled all the main chassis parts, I am really quite pleased with the results. There are a few things that could be improved upon, but overall, I think we are getting there. And at the same time, I've started printing the wheels. I think the rolling chassis is really starting to take shape now and the addition of the radiator frame and wheels is beginning to give it some context. Well, this is day four of my B-Type bus 3D printed model build. I've never even seen a 3D printer before, so I'm glad that from the outset I decided to label this attempt as my prototype build and today I've decided to abandon this build uh, or at least use it from now on as a reference um, and start again before I go too far. In the last four days I've learned a lot not just about 3D printing but also about how to get things so that they fit better when you actually come to do it. 
So the main, the main issues that I've had are referencing parts to come together correctly. I think the accuracy of the drawing is fine. Um, the joints here, for instance, joint in the chassis didn't come together as well as I would have hoped. So I slightly redesigned that. The front the axle and uh, suspension. This rod where you see the start and handle was too thin and the accuracy, the, I need to set the accuracy of the printer higher to be able to deal with the very delicate sort of nature of that section. It's things like that really. So as so I say, I think probably I will just locate this kind of stuff, locate these steps and then call it a day on this version. Um, over here on the printer, I've already re, I've already started to reprint, although it's at a very early stage you can't see, but I've already started to reprint the front suspension part of it. So, um, well, that's how we get on. Uh, the other thing I've done is ordered some, see front, on, on all the axles, these little stub axles, I've slightly redesigned that to take a bearing and I should redesign the hub of the wheel to also take the bearing and then these wheels would be a much more successful fit and will turn correctly and stay in place. So that's where we are with it so far. So let's do an update uh, on when this print's done, we'll start to go again. So in summary, I have learned a lot and also made some mistakes. However, the good news is that I have now prepared and indeed printed quite a lot of the parts needed to get to this stage. In fact, I have started to assemble it and made good progress. So in the next episode, we can take a look at how the build is going and what I have changed to improve upon the first attempt. My goal is to get the lower deck to the greater extent finished by the end of episode two. Well, I hope that you have enjoyed the progress so far and I hope you will join me again to continue this journey. Thanks for your support and don't forget to check on my other projects.